Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Advanced Min Simplified. My name is Dave and I'll be host for this episode. As always. Today we will work over on the Oracle of Kamgav. All the way up there. And I know already what advancement we'll get in this episode. I have not picked out a new rule for us since we have added rules quite a bit last few episodes and they have been pretty hard on us so um today nothing so far maybe while we work up over there we'll um we'll come up with some new punishment set right back right yeah so first off let's head over there um and see what we can do so far this is the oracle of kamkav this is what decides over our well-being when we ever break a rule this is all. Obviously, that's not very um, grand, it's not very epic, it's not uh, very menacing. So I want to build something that looks a bit more like an oracle, something a bit more mystical. Uh, probably have some trees around and stuff like that, but yeah. The oracle itself, I think I want it to be like the structure, mainly built out of quartz, and then we'll see what else we incorporate with that. Um, that is in part because when I went to get a bunch of gear and enchant it, I mined a lot of quartz to level up, um, all without a fortune pick, <laughs> because I didn't have one. But still, I ended up getting quite a bit of it, so we can use all the quartz and then build something cool up here, and it will be nice, and that's what we'll do in this episode. Last episode was um, exploring and fighting, so this episode will be building again. Now... Uh, one thing that we don't really have is a good way up. We have this one water stream, which, I mean, it works. It's pretty fun going up and down there, um, especially with watching our players over there. Really like that view. So we'll see what we do about getting up and down. I mean, mainly I'll probably just fly nowadays um, with our elytra and the rockets. Speaking of elytra, I gotta put mending on this or repair it. I gotta stop sleeping all the time so I can fight some, some phantoms. But yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll go up there and we'll build mainly in this episode. First off, um, we fought a bunch of shulkers in the last episode, which means we can finally, finally craft ourselves some shulker boxes. And with those shulker boxes, we can then transport all the things and it'll be awesome. But these are the first shulker boxes we actually get. And there, do I have some chests lying around? I have some chests lying around indeed. There is a crafting table. Everything's within reach. Let's get some squid ink. I'm sure we have some laying around, right? I can't possibly walk around with, like, purple chalka boxes. That's no good. Mm-mm. What? All right. I forget. We need to craft the eyebrows first. There we go. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Oh, that's awesome. So, if I remember correctly, I put all the quartz I have up in here. Yeah, look at that. All of that was mined without fortune. <laughs> so, yeah. It's quite a bit. Should we take some netherrack as well? I don't know what what, what blocks to use up there. Well, yeah, I tried to zoom in, but obviously you can't see it all the way up there. Can't really see it from down here. I mined a bunch of obsidian off camera and got me some end chests so we can have those now. Um... <laughs> So I usually just use black shulker boxes. I don't name them. I just throw stuff in there because when you hover over them, you see what's in them. Obviously, we have a problem here, right? <laughs> um, I mean, we only have three, so I can kind of figure out what's in it. We know that this one is Ishi, like the first one. That means this is like normal stone and normal stone variants. Um, just this one should be Maru Ishi, which is um, cobblestone, and that leaves this as quartz. If I wouldn't know that I only have another shulker box with only quartz in it, no way I could figure that one out, though. <laughs> let's, let's be real here. But yeah, we, we got some things. Um, put some more stone into here. I also brought some andesite, just so we have it, because I might want to use it. So we got stone and quartz. That uh, is white and gray. We'll probably have some green with trees. Anything else we should add? Maybe some wood. Should we go for spruce wood or for dark oak? Hmm. Actually. 
Do I have any dark oak? I'm not quite sure. Let's fly down here. I have a look. Oh man, I'm, I love flying around so much. I'm actually not sure if we have any dark oak. Might not. Right, trees is in here. Um, I don't see any. That is jungle. That's acacia, spruce, oak. Uh, I don't even see any birch. What happened to all my birch saplings? Oh, right there. Yeah, no, there's no dark oak in here. So I guess first cause of action: find some dark oak. Um, hey back. You any idea which direction I should go for that? Any? That way? All right. Well, Bex says that way. Let's go that way. We don't have a lot of this here. Let's make sure we have that in there and some uh, papoor. There we go. If we need more, and now we go. Let's also bring a boat. Oh wait a second! Our elytra is almost dead. We gotta repair it real fast. I mean, if we're out exploring, I probably won't sleep that night either. We should be getting some more uh, phantoms. But yeah, exploring time. Oh yeah, loading new terrain. That's fun. Nothing loads. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. We should probably just try to get up on a hill and then chill there for a little bit. See what loads around us. I'm pretty sure we've been out in this direction before. I don't remember exactly how far. We might already be further. Oh. So... Who knows? I think to find... Dark Oak though, we should probably stick to normal forests and plains biomes. It's turtles! Hello, turtle friends! Hello! I like turtles. Turtles are fun. It looks like we found a jungle biome. I'm pretty sure last time I tried to find one, um, we were out for quite some time, but this wasn't too far and pretty much a straight shot from where we started. Uh, I'm not sure why I want to walk through this, but I kind of want to walk through this. <laughs> uh, I do like the... The jungle biomes, definitely. Like some cocoa beans. Thank you very much. There's a desert over there. None of this really screams um the the the, the roof forest. Oh, there's some bamboo. I wonder if we find some more pandas. That could be cool. Actually, yeah, we do have a gold a day, so maybe we should just fly. Oh, but the, oh, look at that. Nice. I gotta say though. The jungles look pretty epic. Ooh. You know, th this very much reminds me of the other place that we found. We also found, like, a jungle temple at the edge with a bunch of bamboo next to it. But it was orientated in a... Uh, oriented? In a different way. This one seems mirrored, in general. Alright, where's the thing? Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. Let's let this place up. Let's see if I can remember, remember how to do the puzzle this time around. Oh. There you go. Um, nothing fancy in there. I mean, I guess I'll take that stuff. So, that did something. Um, that didn't do anything. That did something. Okay. Are we open? Open. Ha! Just bones. Wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> Uh, well, it was fun being here. Let's keep on walking. Oh, I love this. The, oh, that's not good. The jungle biomes in Amplified, they have a lot of these hidden paths and, like, overhangs and, oh, this is so good. I love this biome. Oh my god, look at all that. Oof. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So good, but not what we're here for, but, oh, it's so good. I mean, how can you not like this? Wow. I had to travel really far, but that finally is a uh, root forest. Look at that. It looks so cool. It's like 
A little bit on there. We'll have a little bit up there. We have a little bit up there. And then we have a little bit more up there. It's like in some layers. It's cool. It's also raining, which is super annoying. Now I would like to just fly back after we get these, but my elytra is broken, so... I mean, if we manage to craft an animal... I have one phantom membrane. We can repair it a little bit, but... I don't think... I don't, don't think that will get us all the way home. I have to travel quite a bit. That should be enough. So, let's try to get home. Um, if I want to make an anvil, we'll need four more iron ingots from somewhere. Here we go. An anvil to go. Perfect. We'll plop this thing down. Repair our elytra. Three levels. Equip it. Good. And I think it's a good idea to actually keep this thing in our end chest. So apparently, I never made a screenshot of the coordinates of our base, so... Um, be a, we'll, we'll be a laugh getting back to there, but on the other hand, you know, this place is cool too. Let's just live here. <laughs> now, we'll, we'll, we'll make it back, but I have no idea where to go. Sort of that direction. Um, probably more that than that, but we'll see. I should be fairly far out. Yeah, actually, not that bad. But look at this place, it looks really cool. This is really high up, this birch forest. You know, just an island at Y level 247. <laughs> it's like a legit skyblock over here. Nice. Oh well, let's head back home. Made it. And I got a bunch of goodies. I brought some um, packed ice with me. I flew by a bunch of... Um, iceberg biomes, and I thought I might as well uh, take that stuff with us. Maybe we can wait. Maybe we can actually use that. The important thing, obviously, are all the saplings that we got. I think we got enough now. Let's head back to the Oracle and actually finally start building. Let's start with temporarily removing the Oracle itself, and I think we should just go ahead and build. A bit of a pedestal, maybe. Well, okay. Let's let, let let let's think about this. This is currently how we get up here. We we'll probably want to change that. I think it would be nice if we were to approach from over here. So we can sort of have it there, but we should probably do some terraforming. Yeah, let's let's build a bit of a pedestal where we can actually put the thing. It took some fiddling around, but I think now I sort of know why I want to take this. Now I thought I'll build like more like a room, something like that, but I think to have this look more mystical and mysterious and oracle-like, we should probably leave it uh, open on top. So instead, we'll take just some of the ice and just build up the side sort of like this, and maybe connect that to the bit of mountain back over here, sort of that it's connected to the terrain over here. It's not actually built, well, it might have been built, but not by us, right? That's, that's the illusion, it's the immersion. This just sort of belongs over here into the ice. Aha. Everlasting ice, here to punish us. Something like that. That is a lot of blue. Don't like how that pillar just goes into there. And I think this is sort of the direction I want to take this. I might have to go and get some more of this packed ice, but there's so much of it around. I have so many glaciers around, so many icebergs. Iceberg biomes. It's pretty nuts. So we can be fairly... Uh... Fairly easy going. We don't have to think too much about now, now and where to place this stuff. And how much of it. Just... Just keep a place it. So like this. And then... Up to here. And uh, that, and that. And then there we go. And then we'll connect it to there somehow. Mm hmm Looks a little better here. Let's maybe have sort of something like this. This overhang a bit. Connect that to there. And we should probably make this looking a bit more strong. Kind of like that. We can add some snow blocks into there as well. We'll also have this overhang a bit. Here, there, 
that one, and that one goes away. And... Yeah, going better, going better. Not quite sure what the ground yet. Oh, yeah, right, I want, I want this to be the floor, right? So maybe I should just get a bunch of dirt and fill that in real fast. That's more like it. The grass will grow over that. We'll have to figure out a way to light this place up a little bit so uh, we don't have snow layers on all of it. At least in front over here, we want to have it be um, free from snow. Now, um, obviously, like in every episode, we want to get at least one advancement. The advancement I have chosen for today is... Uh, where would that be? Probably here... that one. I'm gonna guess it's that one. I don't actually know. Zombie Doctor. We wanna have a zombie doctor. Uh, we wanna do the zombie doctor thing. So, for this place, it would be nice to actually have, um, somebody up here. Some sort of entity. And I thought we could have a villager up over there. Um, sort of inside of the oracle. And then we press this button and then we get, like, our punishment if we ever break a rule. Sort of coming from the villager, right? So, yeah, I want to get the zombie villager thing for that. Um, now, waiting up here to get a zombie villager will probably take way too long for me. So what we'll do is we'll get a villager, we'll wait for a zombie to turn him over into a zombie villager, and then we cure him again. I think that will be easy. Yep. First stuff, let's build a little area up there. I got some... Light blue stained glass. It's probably what that says. It should be light blue stained glass. It looks like light blue stained glass. And I crafted it with glass and light blue um, dye. So, there you go. Let's go up here. Um, obviously, I chose that. You can probably imagine. Because it will probably fit the ice around it the best. So, let's see. We'll do this, I guess. And then... Go to here and just sort of fill this in. We'll uh, um, have some lanterns right below him so he will be lit up. How weird does that look? Actually, not that bad. Yeah, it's not not that bad. What does the uh, glass look like if we just put it on top of here? Is that okay? Is that doable? Is that legal? Can we do that? I think we can do that. Just add some of this. Yeah, I like it. I also thought about um, adding some normal ice uh, in here. Oh, I also thought about adding blue ice in here, but that will be a bit too expensive, possibly. Yeah, I like the, I like the glass. Possibly we should change out this block back there, though, to that. Sure, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I like it. So we'll get a villager, we put him in there. I also want to get some more snow slabs. Well, I'll get some snow slabs and put that on top of here. And then this will look pretty good, I would say. Now, let's try to play around with villagers. That's always fun. Oh, that's the last ice we have. Actually, before we go and get ourselves a villager, we should probably make sure that we can get him all the way up to over here. So let's work on that first. So far, we've always um, taken this route up. This water stream that we had over here. I can now finally fix this mess. Um, that will be no more. I want to have a water elevator up here. Um, so we'll do that and we'll build it over here. Coming from all the way down over there. So, how do we build this? We could, since we're kind of using the blue stained glass up here, maybe we just have like a tube of blue stained glass and then have the water elevator in there. I think that would be alright. We could also still have a view of that going up. Obviously not as well. But I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's do that. So, um, I guess first off, I gotta get some more glass. Because um, this is all I have at the moment. So, to the desert to get some sand. And then to the swamp to get some light uh, blue dye. And then... Um, we need some soul sand, right? Soul sand goes up, magma block goes down. That's how, that's how that works. I mean, we only need four soul sand. I might have some around. No. Uh, could I actually read what soul sand is? That's soul sand. 
Okay, so we have soul sand. So not to the nether, just to the desert and to the swamp. Get a few of these. Oh, and I'll also take some of this stuff, some of the kelp. I think just a one block big water elevator will be a bit too small, so I will make it two by two, right? But that means we cannot center it on the oracle itself, so we'll probably want to have it sort of off to the side. I think this side is more centered to down there, but I feel like having the water elevator over here would be better. Would be nicer, right? Just so we don't... Like, we can still stand here and have a good view of our, our place. Um, if the water elevator is over there, not over here. So, I guess we'll do that. Um, do we attach it to the island or do we go through the island? I would say... The mixture. We'll sort of go through, but on the edge, so one side is exposed. Uh -huh. So... Down we go. That should be these blocks, right? Uh, I think so. I think now we're on to over here. Uh, and then over here. Yeah. It looks to be alright. So, and we go back up with the light blue. And I thought, how about we'll also have some white stained glass in here to mix things up a little bit. Um, mainly we'll have the light blue, I think. But every now and then we can add some of this. Oh, I am about out of glass already, and I didn't really make it all that far. Um, what's that? Less than a half? Oh, back to the desert. Ah, it goes all the way to the top. We can actually see the oracle from down here now. Which is kind of cool. Obviously the water elevator is not complete yet, so this is where the kelp comes in. I hope this is actually a feature in this. So I feel like this used to be a feature and then they removed it, but... Well, I thought they removed it. But I was playing on the VintageCraft server um, f a few days ago and it totally was a thing there then. So in 1.15 it is a thing. So I'm wondering, is it a thing in this? Hold on, who are you? You want to be a friend? I think you want to be a friend. Oh, there's <laughs> copstone. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you want to stay in here. You want to stay in here, bud. Right down in here. Who are you? Might you be Garth? Party on Garth. Sweet. We don't actually have to fiddle around with getting a villager here. We have a zombie villager. We have Garth. Party on Garth. <laughs> oh, I want to watch the movie again. Um, I was lucky. So, uh, you you just stay here for a second. All right, here. Um, give you a bit of that just to make sure nothing else falls in, and I give you some light just uh, for the sake of it. Yeah. So the feature I was talking about, obviously, is kelp used to, and I hope still does turn flowing water into a water source. Can I not plant it on here? I can plant it there. Are these water sources now? It looks like it. See how all this, the, the soul sun magically floats up? And then uh, down what's pushing water, it's n not pushing up. Yeah, this over there is now a full water source, which means if we do the same thing over here, these will create water sources, and then... It I can't plant it there. But yeah, you, you, you see where I'm going with this, right? We can create water sources all the way up like this without actually having to do all the bucket thing. Yeah, that's the idea. Now, when these things actually become water sources, they will probably spill out. So, I brought some of these. And I'm hoping that tr open trapdoors will actually hold back the water. I hope so. This should be enough then. And now... Make our way up. Um, I have a bit of a problem with air, though. Um, I'm kind of drowning. Um, oops. 
Uh, what do we do? It doesn't work. Uh, maybe I can make it out down here. Oh, 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 don't, 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 oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I thought this would work out better. Oh, boy. So, eventually, we'll obviously also want a way down, right? So, I thought in the corners over here, we could just have some water flowing downwards. So, what we'll do is that, and down in that block, if I can reach that somehow, we'll have a water source. In there. Uh, like this, maybe? This is logy there. There. Right. So now we have one there. We'll do the same thing on the other side as well. And then we can just, whenever we want to go down, jump into that. And still, have an unobstructed view of our base. Ah, see, I didn't want to obstruct that. That's good. This is what I'm going to say, you know. Now we remove all the kelp. Oh, that's pretty sweet. There it goes. Ah, oh, that's cool. And we do that. And there. And now the whole thing is bubble streams. Now we can get up really easy. That's the way you'll go, Garth. Hurry on, Garth. Um, let's prepare the area with a bit of roller coaster for him. I would say, getting in him, in, uh, getting him in here will be. Fairly easy, I think. We'll probably use a boat or something for that. But then getting him into the actual oracle will be fairly difficult. Oh, look at this. this is such a nice elevator. Oh, I love this function. Bubble streams are awesome. Cool. So we made it up here. We'll collect all the kelp. No need to have that stuff floating around. There we go. Now we gotta get him in there. So, I have a question. Do zombies attack you while they are, um, turning into a villager? Like, while they're transitioning. Do they, do they still attack you? I don't know. Uh, I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, first off, Garth, could you jump on that, maybe? I need to get you up a block. Thank you. No, no. Come up. There you go. Then here is some thing to drink. Bloop. And then here is that one. Alright. He's transforming. Does he still attack us? Yes. It's a problem. That means we'll have to wait for him to actually cure before we can get him into there. I mean, maybe we can just pull him with aggro. All right, Garth, you'll have to be a buddy here. Um, follow me, okay? Just, just follow me to over here. Just follow me in here. Come yeah, on, is he in? I'm not sure if he followed me in. Hmm. Not quite sure. We'll see if he ever pop pops out of here. Any second now. Any second now. Yeah, I think he's still down. What are you doing, friend? There you are. Come on. Come on. Go in there. Go in there. Um, Push him. Push him. Push him. How do we push him? Can we push him with a boat? That's not a boat. That's not a boat. Stupid flowers. Yeah, a bit more. Um, Sorry, bud. Oh, he just, he just turned. I was about to punch him. Oh, that's better. Now we can move him around easier. That's good. Thanks, Garth. You're being a real bro. Up you go. <laughs> Zoom. Oh, that's good. Oh, gotta love, love bubble elevators. Okay. Oh, yeah, bud. Now, um, would you like to go on a roller coaster ride? Hey, roller coaster! You like roller coasters, right, Garth? Are oh, you still called Garth? Oh, that's hilarious. I thought he would lose his name. Oh, well, he's. He's. he's Okay, he's upset. Um, here, go, go over there. Uh huh. 
Well, it's a good start. I'll stand there. And we need this thing. No, cars. Aha! We got him. Now... Up the dirt path, please. And don't push against me. Okay, let's just up here. Oh, you'll love it. You'll like it here, Garth. It'll be so cool. You're in there now. Suck it, nerd. Um, we'll give you something on top. Oh. Oh, uh, this good. Oh, I got want to break the minecart somehow. How do I get you out of that minecart? Water? Does water work? I don't want to drown him. I mean. I wonder if he gets out if the thing goes on the water. It would be smart. Are you a smart boy, Garth? You smart. I think that's a no. Yeah. That doesn't work. Um, hitboxes. Can we reach the minecart somehow? Hmm. Let's see, if we go down to here. Don't want to hurt you. There we go. Easy, Garth. Easy. Welcome. Welcome to the Oracle of Kamkav. You're now a holy man. You're you're a legend. And trapped. Forever. <laughs> nice. We did get the achievement. Yeah, I, I didn't pay attention, but we did. Sweet. Well, now I have some cleanup to do over here. Um, but that's obviously not interesting. So I will leave the cleanup for off camera at some point later. I brought some snow with me and uh, can you not put snow on the ice? You can put it on onto the glass. Hmm, that's interesting. So I'll fill in some snow layers around here, make these things look a little nicer. Maybe some around up here. I guess we don't want to have these then. If we can put snow layers down then. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go like that. What happened? See? That's nice. I do that a whole bunch. And then, um, we have a beautiful new working oracle. How cool is that? Now, I already saw that from our base, we can now, we can see this place. And now that's illuminated also up there with Garth in it. <laughs> I like that I called him Garth. That was more of like an impulse decision. I needed a name for a name tag in case I find a zombie villager. And that was the first name that came to mind and that, that worked out pretty well. Might I name him Garth? Yeah, let's uh, quickly head back home. Have a look at what the place looks like from all the way back over there. Problem is, my elytra is broken and we somehow have to get into the water. Oh no, oh no, oh, we made it. I wasn't worried. Um, yeah, my elytra is broken so we cannot fly at all. And I need 19 levels to repair it. We need unbreaking on our elytra. And hopefully at some point we get um mending as well. I think we need a fishing farm. I might have to build one. Maybe we do that in the next episode. I'm not quite sure what we'll do in the next episode. If you have suggestions, let me know. But obviously we also have to get some advancements. At least one per episode. So we'll have to see if we can combine the AFK fishing farm with some advancements that we can make. Look at that. It's illuminated. It looks pretty neat. Actually, from over here, it's kind of blocked the view for the whole oracle. I guess if we go a bit more over to here, maybe it might be a little bit better. Let's see from over here. Yeah, not much has changed. It looks pretty sweet, though. I like it. We can definitely see that something is up there now. Unlike before, seeing how important the oracle of Kamgath is for our... Um, for our world here. That's, that, that's a really cool addition. Well then, I guess it is time for us to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you check back with me next time. Next episode, video stream, whatever that will be. And until then, see ya.